Hello. <laughs> today I am making, what am I making? Oh, today I am making something for somebody's birthday. They're a huge Rick and Morty fan. So because I love to cook and I love a challenge, I'm going to be doing my take on Lil Bits the commercial from Rick and Morty. Uh, I love Rick and Morty too, and this is one of my favorite episodes as well. So, I'm super excited. I think it's gonna be fun. I'm not gonna go through like the details of every recipe. I kinda just wanna show you guys the process and how it turns out, cause I think it might be super cute. Oh, Happy New Year, by the way. Very excited. Let's do it, let's get started. Oh, I'm using um, the Bon Appetit Best Cupcake Recipe. I really like this one. We're making cupcakes. So I'm making like a little bit layer cake and I was originally gonna do a sheet cake and cut out layers, um, but I didn't have a ring mold that I thought would be small enough and I also, I thought it would be too high, like too cylindrical. So what I'm gonna do is do a cupcake and slice that and make that into a layer cake and I think that should only be like that big. So that should look like a full size birthday cake, little bit style, so we'll see. Oh, here's a little uh, trick on how to whisk stuff in measuring cups. You can just put it in and do one of these. And you're like a mini hand mixer low key. Leave that at 400 for five minutes. Put it into 1237. So now we have time for batter talk. You should never eat your batter. Don't do what I do. The reason I say that is because the reason everybody thinks, well, and knows it is, eggs can carry salmonella, whatever, whatever. But you also shouldn't eat raw flour. Raw flour can carry E. coli. That's why if you ever see like edible cookie dough recipes, they'll tell you to cook the flour. And that's another reason you're not supposed to eat batter. I learned that when I was on a Snapchat competition cooking show called Chopped You. Spoiler alert, I did lose. <laughs> Didn't go well. I don't think there's any footage of it anywhere, which I'm grateful for. Do you remember when I was on that Chopped cooking show? Yeah, it didn't yeah. go very well. Right? <laughs> sure didn't. <laughs> But oh my God, the girl who won, she was so nice and she was so soft-spoken. So I think we were like very opposite. She won and she bawled her eyes out. Bawled her eyes out. There was no prize. They made her call her parents. They were like, are you okay? Anyway, don't eat batter. <laughs> Okay, so our little cuppy cakes are done and cute. They're kind of perfect. They came out exactly how I wanted them to, nice and cooked through. I've got a ton of them, so I have a bunch to work with and try out. Now I'm going to make the pretzels. So just like I said earlier, I'm not doing everything from the show exactly. Like I know in the show they do like a mini lasagna and they do a mini pie. I'm doing stuff that the person who I'm giving it to I think will like more. And I know they like pretzels, so I'm also gonna make some soft pretzels. Also, I could just kinda want some soft pretzels. I need to warn you that I'm gonna scream. <sighs> ah! Okay, first I'll show you the bad part <laughs> that I would scream about. Hello, baking soda stove. But now, are you ready to see the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? Mini pretzels, they're mini pretzels. Their name is Pretzel and they are mini. All right, I gotta go clean my stove. 
Okay, the last part of the Lil Bits dinner uh, birthday celebration that I will be doing today is a mini pizza. Here's the thing, on every single part of this, I was like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. Like, I'll just get a box cake mix. And then I was like, no, I gotta make the cake. And then I was like, oh, I'll just get pre-made pizza dough. And then I was like, no, I gotta make the pizza dough. And I was like, well, I'll obviously get pre-made pizza sauce. And then I was like, no, I gotta make the pizza sauce. So, let's go Fleischmann's. Woo! Okay, so I'm just gonna keep kneading this by hand and then eventually I throw it back into this bowl that I have since oiled thing actually. But yeah, I'm just gonna knead it and then put it back in the bowl. Um, so we finished all of our stuff. We have our, I made some pizza. That's the pizza I ate. And then we have tiny pizzas that are so cute and I'm so excited about. I'm just so tired from doing this all day that I'm ready to clock out it's been like seven hours obviously all good but i'm a little sleepy lady we're back in my bathroom and i look like garbage my new series a couple of y'all have i hope this audio isn't like too echo town usa population all of my hair a couple of y'all have asked how i've been doing my hair lately and i think it's important to note I don't know if I've mentioned it before. I'm like so not a hair person. I love makeup, but I've never been into hair. Like I've always like dyeing my hair and like having it like be kept up rather, but I've never styled it really. Like I remember I got one haircut that I loved so much. It was like this really short, aggressive red bob. It was styled so beautifully. And then the first time I washed it after I was like, oh, f I forgot I don't ever do anything with my hair. So that did not turn out too well. But <laughs> um, I recently got this thing. It's this blow dry brush. I got mine from Amazon a few months ago. This is from Beautymeter. <laughs> I got it because I've always thought that like a really nice, like big bouncy 90s blow dry is like my favorite kind of hairstyle. I just think it's beautiful, like very Rachel from Friends vibes, but I never really want to pay like the $60 to get my hair blown out. I was like, oh, maybe, you know, $25. Like we'll see if it actually works. So. It does. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I love it. <laughs> okay, I put this on just because it gets... I'm like naturally a hot person. Not like that. My blood is hot. <laughs> anyway, so I like overheat easily, so I'll probably get sweaty during this. I just washed my hair today, which it's been like very curly and fun lately, which is exciting, but I don't care because I'm blowing it out. I'm gonna do just like a cursory brush of it just so my thing doesn't get like too stuck on anything. Um, also this brush is super loud. So I'll probably have to like time lapse most of this just because like it's not gonna be fun to listen to. What I like to do is just brush my hair nice and clean. I'll do this, just middle part it roughly. Actually, that's perfect. So not roughly, I guess. I like to bring my little bang pieces forward. I section those off because I like to do them separately at the end. And I just keep those like that the whole time pretty much. <laughs> then I go in and section like right where, ew, right where my ear is. So I end up with like five full sections. I always start with this one right next to my face, but then I take this back one and I put this in like a little elastic and I just do that same thing on this side as well. Just like that, another elastic. I've done the blow dry thing without sectioning my hair. This I just think I get a better like handle on doing all of it as opposed to missing some chunks. Here's what we've got going on right now. Very sexy. Then I take some of this OGX silk blowout like heat protectant, but I think it's also supposed to like, I don't know, condition. You know, I think that every f***ing hair product is like, we do all of it. And it's like, okay, buddy. And then I just like kind of shoot it in there. I, I think the sprayer is broken. It's very like straight. It's more of a jet situation. So I just sort of rake that through my hair a little bit. And once I feel that it's sort of on it all, I'll take my first section of the first section. Then I just start going. Turn this on, it's gonna be loud. This is already our first chunk and that only took me like 
probably three minutes. And you can ask anybody. I am not good at hair and this just makes you look like you're good at hair. So see, look, it's just like pretty and flowy and shiny. I love it. I'm going to go through and do the rest. Yeah. Same process. You guys will just see me do this four times. It's been five minutes and <laughs> I'm already halfway done. And I just, dude, I just love the way it looks, dude. And it feels really soft. The back parts are obviously the least fun to do because not only are they hard. Oh gosh, that is not a nice feeling. Ugh. Away we go. So it does get very hot. You can see my face is bright red. It's all worth it for beauty. All right, last big chunky wonky. Anybody text me? No. Okay, so yes, I am sweating. Yes, I am red. Did I say this was the easiest thing in the world? I sure did. <laughs> The under is gonna get a little curly again because I'm sweating, but that's fine. And then you can kind of just like twist these. Okay, blow out. All right, now I'm gonna do these top little pieces. See, it doesn't come out like a spray. So with this piece, I just like pull it forward. I really overextend it. And it looks super silly, but if you just flip it and bring it up, You're sort of cute again. Look at this. Whoop, not that. If my face wasn't so red. <laughs> I just like love it. It's just so bouncy and shine. So that's a little hair tutorial. Some of you guys asked for it, so I'm very excited to have gotten to show you. I also do it when my hair is dry, just because like doing it when it's wet, it just gets, it just takes too long. And like I, I'm scared it damages it more. I'm sure it's damaging it just as much, but I'll probably go in and touch it up just as I need with like a little dry shampoo and the brush. But yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If you want to get this, I highly, highly recommend it. Gabby's gotten one. Uh, my roommate's probably gonna grab one. I just think it's a nice little easy hot tool. If you've got the room, it's fing huge. See you soon. One time I had a MySpace picture where I had paint on my hands because you guys know I thought that that was like the coolest, sexiest thing in the world. I must have been like 15 and I was going like this and it was like shot from above and I put the contrast on like 500. Do you all see the paint on my hands? There's paint on my hands. I have paint hands. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna make a couple sandwiches. Okay, so we all know that I'm trying to get better at vlogging, but I forgot to video with my real camera like the final product of the little bits except the pretzels and I think the pizza but look at the little cake hold on can we see this oh my god ah! anyway this is my favorite thing in the world I'll only be making mini food from now on Mwah.